Hey you guys, I have some exciting news for you. So if you recall, a couple weeks ago, we drew blood on our cows and our goats and we sent off pregnancy tests on all five of them. Now, um, we sent them in, we used Bioprint and they were really awesome at communicating, very quick turnaround. Um, I can't speak for the other uh, laboratory offices, but we used the one in Orlando, Florida. But we got the results back and I am really happy to say that everyone is pregnant. We have our three does, maple, brownie, mocha, and they have been running for the last two months with our new buck saffron. And uh, he is, he's very sweet, small little Nigerian dwarf buck and he's apricot color i have come to learn which i personally absolutely adore his coloring he looks like a little miniature mountain goat to me <laughs> he's so cute and i absolutely adore his beard so they have been running together and it looks like he successfully got the job done and i mean if you look at brownie in particular she is round as a tick now um it used to be we were a little alarmed with the her left side because sometimes that can be a concern for bloat but she does this quite often and this is she's she just has a large rumen it's not anything that i am like super overly alarmed by i've been checking their famancha score their eyelids are nice and pink so they there's there's no concern for worming i actually had dewormed them uh, two months ago whenever saffron came to the herd so they are all good low worm load low parasite count and they're just looking a little preggers right now so I am noticing that Brownie has been extra affectionate lately. She's never like this. She's not a, they're still, we're still, cause remember we got them from a small animal auction years ago. So she, they were very wary of us for a long time and it took some while, but this is huge. She's not normally like this, but she, I literally stopped petting her earlier and she was nudging. Oh, she likes that. Oh, that feels good. Is that a good place? Is that a good place? Oh. You think a good thing? Is that enough? Did I get your scratches? <laughs> we also sent in pregnancy tests for Annabelle and Lexi. Now Annabelle is our nine-year-old miniature jersey. Lexi is her calf, well her heifer calf that she had delivered last year in May. Now we're not too thrilled about Lexi being pregnant. She was not supposed to be bred. We had actually intentionally separated them from Excellent Annabelle and her and Brutus had ran in their own paddock, but because um, Unfortunately our fence contained the bull Axel. We had no problem with Axel staying contained in the fence But Lexi somehow managed to get out of the fence. Of course life will live on life will do what it's going to do to continue and He got her bread and we had a vet come out. So Annabelle is expected to be due sometime as early, if I calculate when I know I first saw him mount her, would be April 27th of this year, so very, very soon. But she could be, the, the vet said, because she's over five months, it's kind of a guess, he thinks she could be due sometime in May or even June. So maybe Leon will have a calf born around his birthday in June. Lexi, thankfully she did not get bred as early as Annabelle did, because that would have been very terrifying but she is expected due in September. And so we consulted with the vet. He seems to think that she will be fine. She's got good build. She's grown out really nicely. And we might have to pull the calf, but I've already got experts on hand, I've got my contacts. So I know that I've got someone to help us with that. And um, we're just gonna have to monitor for her very closely. So are we happy about it? No. But it happened. There's no point in getting upset or being sad about it. We just gotta monitor her closely and take extra special care with her, which is fine because we love her very, very much. So things don't always go as planned, unfortunately. Sometimes mistakes happen, things happen, we're human. But uh, I think she's in good hands and I think she's gonna be fine. So we're just gonna monitor her. Another thing, if you guys are regular um, watchers of our vlog, is you might be questioning why we only sent in pregnancy tests on two cows. So it used to be our herd, we had four, we had three cows and one heifer calf, Lexi. So we had Annabelle, of course, then we had Chloe and Abigail. 
And uh, recently we had to come to the difficult decision of thinning our herd due to restrictions that we have on our property. And we're currently working on that and we're working on trying to change those restrictions and lift those, but in the meantime we did have to get closer to compliance and so we, um, Chloe and, and Abigail went to a new home together. Um, really nice home. They're actually, I think they've got like 20 or 30 acres. Uh, they went and joined a herd of I think 10 or 12 miniature jerseys. So they are, the lady is an absolute sweetheart. I adored her. She was so cool to meet. She hand milks every single one of her cows twice a day. I could not imagine milking 12 jerseys twice a day by myself. Like, I admire her dedication, but she she handles them daily, and I know that they are going to be thoroughly spoiled at their new home. So, And we can always go visit them. That's what I'm excited about, which actually I got to plan a visit with them. The reason why we didn't really post anything about it, it was kind of emotional. Um, but I know that they're in a really good place right now. So, But really eager, excited. So with the goats, estimated um, breed date, they would be due sometime in mid-June. So we will be keeping you guys up to date and posted on keeping an eye on tracking mocha, maple, and brownies gestation pregnancy journey. <laughs> I'm really excited. I haven't had baby goats since we were, since I was little. So I'm really, really excited to have baby goats on the farm again.